Hi, my name is Joel Abava, and I'm the Franchise King. Before I start today's video, which is on franchise due diligence, please subscribe so you can get updated immediately when I do franchise informational videos. Just click the bell, click that bell underneath this video and you'll be able to do that. Anyway, franchise due diligence. The most important thing I want you to know about due diligence on a franchise you're investigating is this. Numbers aren't everything. While the numbers are important, of course you want to know profit and loss and revenue and all that fun stuff. And of course you definitely want to know how much you're going to make or hope to make as a franchisee. The numbers don't tell the entire story. My late father, Jerry Lababa, when he was teaching me the business 21, 22 years ago, told me that the FDD is not the business. The FDD instead is a list of things printed on many pieces of paper. In other words, it's a document. It's not the business. To get into the business, to find out how the business operates, the revenue, profit, break even, you must talk to the franchisees. I don't care if your franchise disclosure document happens to list numbers on their item 19, the financial representation area. I don't care. Even if the numbers are listed and even if they look good, call the franchisees and verify that the numbers are what they say they are. Because every franchisee is going to have a different story and a different break-even time, etc. Now, I want you to know that there are a lot of websites, new ones that have been created, that focus on the FDD and the numbers. And that's kind of all they focus on. If you get too much into the weeds, which means all you're doing is looking at numbers, then you're not getting the complete picture. For example, the numbers might look average or below average, but are you taking into, into your mind the tax benefits, depending on how you structure your franchise business entity? You know, are you able to write off your miles, your automobile, your trucks? Are you able to write off the lease payments you make? There's a lot of stuff that comes off the income. So make sure that you include that and ask the franchisees what their business entities are. Maybe they're an S Corp, maybe they're an LLC, maybe they're a corporation. But until you ask, you're not gonna know. Franchise due diligence also involves things like how good is the support at franchise headquarters? What's the culture like? When you talk to franchisees, are they very guarded? Are they secretive? Are they paranoid about giving you the numbers? Or are they really, really open to giving you the numbers? As a matter of fact, are they so open that some of them will even send over their business plan that they used before they started their franchise? A lot of things can be gathered by talking to franchisees. While the numbers are important, the most important part is verifying those numbers with franchisees. Franchise due diligence is critical, but you have to get off the numbers and get into real life and find out what the day in the life of a franchisee is. Then you can find out the revenue, profit, loss, all that good stuff that you want to know. Because I would want to know it too, but it's not the only thing. Money is not the only thing in a franchise. It's all encompassing. It's the whole experience. And finally, Remember back, before you started looking for a franchise, why you wanted to become a business.